Fiberglass duct closure systems must meet the UL181A standard, which is the standard for closure systems for use with rigid air ducts. There are three closure systems covered by the standard. UL181A P for pressure sensitive aluminum tape, UL181A H for heat activated aluminum tape, and UL181A M for fiberglass reinforced mastic closure systems. To be listed by UL and meet the UL181A standard, fiberglass duct systems are put through a series of vigorous tests, 17 in all. The closures are tested for things like adhesion, tensile strength, surface burning characteristics, temperature and pressure cycling, mold growth and humidity, to name a few. Tapes and mastics that carry the UL marking have passed the rigorous UL181A test. Ducts fabricated without UL181A closure materials will not meet the local building or mechanical codes. The closure system for fibrous glass duct systems is one of the most critical parts of the fabrication process. The closure system seals the seams and joints and not only provides an air seal, but provides the structural connection. The use and proper application of the right closure materials can literally make or break your job. The approved tapes and mastics are boldly marked for easy identification. Inspectors look for these closure systems and will shut down your job if the wrong closure is applied. We will demonstrate three different closure systems that conform to the UL181 Class 1 requirements. A pressure sensitive aluminum foil tape system, a heat activated foil tape system, and a mastic and glass fabric closure system. These closure systems have been tested and approved on systems operating up to plus or minus two inches water gauge static pressure and up to 5,000 feet per minute internal air velocity. Another UL181 Class 1 closure system is what many call the heat sealed system. This closure system uses tape that is activated when heated. It requires a heat sealing iron that activates the adhesive between the tape and the surface of the duct. The ducts must be stapled prior to applying the closure system. If an automatic heat sealing closure machine is used, then you do not need the staples. Again, get in the habit of starting with a clean surface, one that is void of dust and moisture. You will need UL181 AH heat activated aluminum foil tape and a suitable iron, one with a plate temperature between 550 and 600 degrees Fahrenheit. While this closure system requires the use of special tools for application, it provides added strength that many contractors feel is worth the effort. The demonstration that follows will give you some great pointers. Okay, this time we're going to be using heat sensitive tape uh, to seal the duct with, so we'll be using the heat tape instead of the pressure sensitive tape and the heat sealing iron. So to begin with, we're going to take our tape, again spanning the joint, and we'll tack the tape down at the beginning, pulling it out and tight at the back, using the cutting edge on the front of the iron to cut the tape off, and then lightly come back, tacking the tape down. using a slight sweeping motion. So once you've got it tacked down, you want to come back and wipe over top of the tape to make sure that you have changed the indicator dots from green to the dark brownish black color on the duct. Be careful when using the heat sealing iron that you don't burn your fingers the surface of the duct when you're using the heat sealing iron will become extremely warm. So if you do lay your hand over part of the seam that you have just sealed, you will realize your mistake fairly quickly. <laughs> 